After going so hard on the tournament, I needed a bit of a break. Take this week a little slower. But it's all good though, cause of the XP cap, I'm going to be able to catch up in no time. The tournament video where I made it to the 1v1s is actually officially the most liked RuneScape video to ever exist. Like, what an achievement. I cannot thank you all enough for that, that is insane. Basically what I'm going to do here is create two accounts again. This is sort of going to be the AFK checker account with really high melee. But I will be going around with Tribrid. I only need 53 magic and I can use Ivan's Blast which can hit 25s and also use Snare as well. And just keep a pretty lowish range level but we've got all our KO potential in the melee. And what I did here, because all new accounts get 30 minutes of immunity as soon as they create the account, I got 10k on my alt account and then traded it over to my mate and he met me in Lumbridge on the account that I'm going to be playing on to save a lot of time, so I'd have to go to Stronghold myself. There's the Grand Tree, 28 to 37 attack and 31 agility. Alright, it's good, I can now teleport around the game with the Spirit Trees. Next step, I need to get Protection Prayers, definitely, and for that, I need Priest in Peril, and as you know, you need a full invent of pure essence with no food. Really, really, really hope that it's not being camped, because I know that a lot of PKs go there. I forgot, I need to do Restless Ghost. I also got a couple strength levels and defense levels quickly. Restless Ghost, Priest in Peril. Let's go get Protection Prayers. I didn't go into the Mortania area after the Priest in Peril quest, so I can't charter to port for top. So I can't charter to port. So I can't charter to port for Tasmus. I don't even know how you say it. Port for Tasmus. I don't even know. So I've got to trek all the way back there now. But yeah, I'm getting 45 magic so I can teleport to Kami. You know how this dog in Varrock is so annoying? I'm actually using him to my advantage. I'm safe spotting the guards. And there's 45 magic. I guess I'll just bury a couple burns for that. Got smite. Time for Monkey Madness. I'm hoping. If I'm starting this late that no one's camping Apatol, could well happen. The bad thing about starting the day of release, you're so poor and you have the worst food ever. There is definitely no stamina potions what I have right now. It's difficult to afford war runes and everything, so I should be able to speed right through this. I've just arrived at Apatol and this is what I see. That, that's not a good sign at all. I'm gonna risk trying to get my untradables back. I'll literally risk nothing anyway. Oh, it actually is there, the hot walls. Thank God for that. That's actually really lucky. I tell you, I can definitely not be bothered getting all those untradables back. Thank God the hot world. Because that's happened to me before. I've got specked out and I go back to get my untradables and I get PK'd again. Not now. Not whilst I've got my Gree Gree and the monkey. Please, please, please. Oh my God, thank God. Always a nice one to get out of the way. Monkey Madness. Let's get some stats up, I'm so vulnerable. Level 41 combat. Most people at this stage in the game are level 70 right now. They have 40 defense just like that. And 52 combat. Honestly, I'll be peeking in no time. All I gotta do is Ibans, Avers, DDS, and just like train up my stats, get a Dragon Defender, and I'm pretty much ready to PK. I'm gonna get some agility now and get it over and done with whilst I'm risking nothing because I'm going to go to the Woolly course. Agility is out of the way. Next on the list is Animal Magnetism. So as you can see, i got quite a few skill requirements. May as well get 36 Woodcutting for Lost Sea too. 36 Woodcutting. And then I'll get 31 Crafting for Lost Sea and others. 31 Crafting. Time to get 50 range. So as soon as I've completed Animal Magnetism, I can get the Avers Accumulator straight away. 18 Slayer. May as well finish off four easy tasks whilst I'm getting 50 range, so... When I do get 85 combat, I can kick straight into Slayer with Neves and start earning points. There's 50 range. All the requirements for the Avers Accumulator. Just need to do Ernest the Chicken. Ernest the Chicken. Decent. Got an Avers Accumulator. Oh, teleport. Oh, okay. Good time to teleport, I guess. Lost City. There's Climbing Boots. Not much more to do now. I just need to do Ibans. So there is Plague City. Biohazard. Time for Underground Pass for the millionth time. As you know, Underground Pass can be very frustrating because you always fail the traps. But I'm doing this with 72 agility, so I'm hoping not to fall at all. Decent. Got the Ibans staff. All right, time to get my stats up because I'm still such a big noob. And I've got a lot of XP to use up. Let's go ahead and buy the Barrows Gloves. Like looking like a beast already. Bee gloves, climbing boots, glory. I just gotta get warrior skill stats, so I can get a dragon defender. 
and also I'm looking to get how my Nate is not, but obviously my melee stats just aren't good enough yet. I can get one hit, literally. Look at my HP. This is just not safe. I'm not AFK in the slightest. 60 attack. Things will speed up a lot now. I've got the decent. That'll do for now. 60 attack, 60 strength, 51 defense. Should be good enough to defeat the Ice Troll in the Friendly Guys quest. Just need to get the stats for Friendly Trials. 40 crafting and 20 fletching. Let's go. Don't AFK, I guess. I need 20 construction for Friendly Isles. I'm going to get 30 so I can move my house to Aleka. Friendly Trials. Friendly Isles done. Now I've got the sexy helmet. And also the Yak Pen all to myself. 60 defense, so I can equip the Dragon Defender straight away. Just need to get 70 strength, and then we can go to the Warriors Guild. 70 strength. I think I might have some troubles at the Warriors Guild, not gonna lie. Especially with me being just 65 HP. I like, literally, I've literally just got it. <laughs> 1,000 tokens. Let's see where this gets us. 75 strength. Still searching for that bronze defender. Literally the worst look ever. 710 tokens to get a bronze defender. And look what I get. A longbone and a bronze defender in the same drop. I also got another longbone. Like, I don't even know. Almost 80 strength. This is ridiculous. Bronze defender in 1,000 tokens. And I'm going to stop there at 82 strength. I'm going to go get my ranged and mage level up before... I over cap and I can't get them. Okay, well that's weird. <laughs> I got an iron defender as soon as I ran out of tokens. Let me get that defender before I get kicked out. Okay, well, iron defender, thousand tokens. That'll do for range for now. Just need that rune crossbow so I can poison people with emerald bolt ease. Time to get 53 mage. 53 magic, let's go back to the warrior's guild. I need to get this dragon defender ASAP because I'm literally gonna be capped soon and just ready to peek it as soon as I get the defender. 1,000 more tokens. That was a lot, lot faster. Still defender. Like seven later or something. Black defender. I'll take it. Worst defender look. I've been here for so long. 400 left. Adamant. Finally. Rune. Gonna have to get more tokens. 600 tokens. Let's see if we can get this thing. Dragon defender. That wasn't too bad. So to teleport away and bank in, I'm gonna teleport to my house. I need to get 50 construction for teleports and stuff. So for now, whilst DT isn't out, I just got one teleport, the Camelot Telly, but also an altar wherever I decide to put my house and a glory. Due to it taking me so long to get that defender, there was another cap and I was able to get 70 range. It is time to PK. I'm pretty sure this is my first time peeking with Ivans because I usually don't want to do underground pass. But it's meant to be pretty good though because like I said, I only need 50 magic and it can hit 25s. And by the way, the reason why I have 53 is because people PK with Flames Azami and it drains your mage. So, you know, if I do get drained, then I can still snare and telly. Let me get this guy ready. Just like that, good fight. That was sick. If only I had a D sim. I should get 55 magic just so I can alk everything. I teleported to the jewel arena telly spot and there is a PK there. So I attack him and literally a few seconds later, his whole team teleports in. So I'm like, okay, well, screw this. I'm running to the bank. Thankfully, I was able to tank all the way to the bank and I started 1v1 in them because I didn't realize how difficult snare was going to be to escape is so weak and the freeze time is so little that once you snare you have to teleport on that hit if you mess it up you have to try it after the next freeze so you have to get it perfectly and teleport the first time so yeah i just i was just 1v1 in them in the bank i guess Yep, looks like he DC'd. But the way I see it is, if I was the one who DC'd, they would 110% not give back. So tell me what you guys would do. If it was a fair 1v1 and the guy was nice, you know, he wasn't trash talking or anything, yeah, I would happily give back the stuff. But look at that loot right there. Tome of Fire is worth a lot. It's a good 300k. So that was a bank PK. I reckon this key is going to be a good one. One mil. Wait, I had three key? Oh, you must have had a key as well. Not the best. One mil. 
um, the worst key to ever exist. Right, basically, all the prices are messed up. Like, each ball of wool, I'll show you. Each ball of wool is 1k each, so everyone can just fill up the bank with absolute junk and it protects over everything. Climbing boots are worth 77k. It's been like this all week and it's still not being fixed, so I'm gonna get crap keys until obviously they fix it. Oh, see that? Wow, that's unlucky. This is when we need ancients. I just don't have enough KO potential. I mean, tw what the hell? Yo, diamond ball. I'm only 70 range. I just need that piety. I, I'm just not used to PKing with ultimate strength and attack. It's just so much nicer to switch to piety. And obviously, it's a lot more powerful too. Honestly, I'm just feeling ballsy right now. I just want to PK when Barrage comes out, so I don't really care. And I bumped into another PK in 30 wilderness in the most random place ever. So we battled it out. After a while, he tried to get the log out because obviously he can't teleport in 30 wilderness unless you have a charged glory. And he realized he could not teleport, so he made a room for it. There's no way, oh my god, I just, like the only 1v1 fight I could ever, ever find, get away. Good fight to the guy, thank you for not calling a team, but I should not have let that get away. Gmon? Oh, that's so unlucky. This happened a lot. People just didn't expect me to have melee because I never brought out the D sim until after I used my G-Ball spec, so people would camp really low HP, just thinking I have major range, and then out comes the G-Ball, and yeah, happened a lot. I was literally peaking for about four or five hours, and I just could not get a single person, and that's when I bumped into skill specs in Draenor Village, and we found a multi-team, trying to get people who were teleporting into Draenor Village, and then they piled them in multi. So best got a freeze on him there, dude. Oh! <gasps> Little idiot! Yo, Tobesta, you beast! <laughs> got devoted, bro. So skill specs 1v1 the guy called Bug Veyron and he 42 d bolted him. And then he came back. Oh Bug Veyron's here! Hey yo, Tolvester, I bet this guy's got some more shit in his bank, you know, dude. I, I bet I bet he's absolutely fucking loaded, bro. There's no way we got it all. <clears throat> See, Tolvester's actually killing him. Why is he so savage? <laughs> Throw some love hearts in the chat for Mr. Bug Veyron, please, boys. He offed him! Bless. Nests on a rampage. <gasps> <laughs> you didn't. You actually did. You actually did that to that guy. That's about it. Ibans is not the strongest and yeah, just PKing on normals is just so weak. I may return for Barrage, but until then, I, I'm, I'm going back on the new account, Runepipe56. I can't wait.